Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Death Note Month, and we're doing something a little different today. So, story is, originally I was going to make a video on a certain subject, and then a company, which I will not name, but I'll just call them the Shoe Company, because that's what they sound like, that's what the name sounds like, and not that they actually sell shoes, they decided to strike one of my videos on a fan-made thing that they didn't even own, so, you know, that's great. So instead, today, I decided I'm just gonna do what I got the most requests to do during Death Note Month, and for some reason, this was what people wanted, a Tear Maker video on Death Note for some reason? I, I don't know why people wanted this. Somebody did, I guess. That's what I got the most requests for, so that's what I'm doing as kind of an impromptu finale, because the original one I planned got kind of cancelled, because now I can't cover it, since I know it'll go the same way as the other video that got striked did. So, we're covering Death Note characters, since I haven't actually made any list on them, and we're gonna be going with all these different rankings, and we're just gonna see what I have to say about each one. And don't worry, if you want another video on Death Note, we got one coming down later in the year. It'll be something that, it, it'll be pretty interesting, I think you'll like it, but you just gotta stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's start with the video. Okay, so first up to bat is L. He is the rival to Light in the main series, and I don't even think I need to say anything considering what my avatar looks like, but yeah, L is one of my absolute favorite characters. There's very little to say about him that I haven't said already. He is just the most entertaining thing about this show. Every single time he's in this show, it's just entertaining. He's super weird, but also he's really, really smart, and the show doesn't just tell you that, but it really shows you that through a lot of the things he does in the series. I don't even think it's a question, L is just an S, he's an S automatically. Now moving on from L, let's go to Naomi, the one who appeared in two episodes. Now, you may think, okay, what's the big deal, she appeared in two episodes, why would she even be in this list considering that she's not that relevant? Well firstly, the episodes she was in were pretty fantastic and I actually enjoyed her in those, but the thing is, is she was actually in the book Death Note Another Note and had a pretty prominent role, she was actually the protagonist and she was really entertaining in that one. So that's why I think she's going to go to B, because automatically she's just a lot more entertaining when you've read some of the other material. Obviously it sucks that that's only in a book and we never got an animated form of that, but whatever, she's pretty entertaining. Higuchi, Kira 3, the character everybody probably forgot about, and it's probably for a good reason, because he's kind of lame. I mean, he's not like the worst character in the world or anything, but there's not really much to say about him. He kind of just gets caught super easily, and he just has really nothing going on, so C ranking easily. Rem. Ooh boy, my favorite character. I I don't care about Rem. Rem is one of the most boring characters in the show. I, I know Rem's a Shinigami. Ooh, cool, neat design. But really, the design is the only thing Rem's got going for themselves. Rem is boring. There is very little to their personality, and I have nothing to say about them because the show has nothing to say about Rem. I didn't feel anything when Rem died either, because the death was already overtaken by L, obviously. But in general, I just didn't care about the character, so... We're just gonna put Rem in D ranking. Chief Yagami. Now this is a good character. I freaking love Chief Yagami. I feel like he's kind of one of those characters that gets overlooked, but man, he's got some really entertaining moments. You know, like the one time he rammed his truck into a station, like a TV station. Or, you know, that one time he threatened to kill his own son and his girlfriend just to see if they were actually Kira. Dude, that guy is crazy. I love him. He's He gets an A rank easy, no question. And, you know, speaking of A-Ranks, Matsuda, and I know people are gonna be like, why Matsuda? He's garbage, but you know, I, I like Matsuda, he's funny. He's an interesting and more like, more of a comic relief character, I guess. But the thing is, he's an actually funny comic relief character, and I just find him entertaining the whole way through. He's one of the very few special task force members that actually sticks out of my head, and so, you know, it's gotta be pretty impressive when he's in a show that has a bunch of really crazy people that are all doing all this amazing stuff, and then he's just kind of an idiot and still gets an A ranking, but nah, he's pretty impressive. I love Matsuda. And from one task force member to another, let's go to Aizawa, he is very lame. He has very little presence throughout the first half of the show, kind of just existing here and there. And then in the final chunk of the show, he basically goes around trying to discover that Light is Kira, but he's always really far behind everybody else. And all the stuff he discovers, it always feels like he discovers it because Light is just being really sloppy at this point in the anime. You know, he's gotten so arrogant that he's kind of just leaving the clues around because he doesn't care. And Aizawa goes around acting like, oh, these are big discoveries. And even Nier doesn't care at all. Nier is so far ahead of him at this point that it feels like what Aizawa does just has no purpose. He's a purposeless character that could have just been erased from the plot and nothing would have been missing. It would not have affected the show at all, so Aizawa, you get a D. And you know what, since we mentioned Nier, let's go to Nier. Nier is okay. 
He's not my favorite character, and he feels a little bit too much like a watered-down L. Uh, I also don't like the way he ended up figuring out who Kira was, since it felt a little lazy, but he's entertaining enough. I like his whole playing with the toys gimmick, and I think he has a couple cool moments here and there. The biggest problem Nier has is that, as a rival, he just can't really compare to L, and he literally is trying to be L, so it doesn't really work in his favor, so that doesn't help already. But Nier just doesn't do very much, he kind of just sits in this one area, kind of just thinking about stuff. He doesn't take a lot of action, so it's hard to really put him in anything above C, and I feel like part of that C ranking is just because the last episode when he's wearing that weird L mask, that probably is part of the reason why he's even this high. And since we're on Nier, why don't we talk about his second half, Mello, who, I'm gonna be real, is just a far more interesting character. He's just a more interesting rival as a whole. I feel like they should have just made Mello the only rival, because L was a little bit more safe in how he did things. Whereas the first time we see Mello, he's already doing some crazy stuff. He immediately kidnaps Light's sister and all that stuff. Like, he is a crazy character and would have made a much more interesting rival. Especially because Light at the time was also kind of crazy, so it would have made for a more fun show. But sadly, he has to share the spotlight with Nier, and I feel like that lowers his importance, so he only gets a B, sadly. And since we're talking about end of the anime characters, let's talk about Mikami real quick. He is okay. His whole delete thing is kind of funny, and he's kind of a goofy looking character, but he doesn't really do much. We don't get to see a whole lot of him. And he really just sticks out of my mind as this crazy dude that's just unhinged, which isn't the worst. He's not a bad character. I just don't really think too much of him, so C for Mikami. It's, he's okay. Ryuk? He's an S. There's no question. Ryuk's like the funniest character in the show. Every single time he's on screen, he's entertaining. I, I really don't even think I need to say anything else about Ryuk. He is Ryuk automatically he gets an S. Perfect. That's it. Let's move on. So, this is a character that you might not know of if you didn't read another note, but BB, he's a pretty entertaining character. I get asked to talk about him all the time, even though I've already made a couple videos, but I will just say he's pretty fun. Uh, he's lessened a little bit by the fact that he's basically just L, but murderous, but hey, whatever. He's still a fun character. Um, I think he makes another note pretty worthwhile to read, and so, hey, BB gets, guess what, a B, you know, really fitting to his name, and no, I didn't just pick that, because that's in his name. Okay, so let's talk about Misa, because for some reason a lot of people hate her, I do not hate her. Yes, she gets a bit annoying from time to time, but I really don't think she's even that bad at her worst, and at her best, she's just kind of fun. She's another one of those characters that gets used most prominently in the gag scenes, like she's more of a comic relief character in a lot of scenarios, but even when she's not, I think she's just a fairly fun character. She's a little bit simple, not super depthy, but I think that's pretty okay. You know, also kind of helps that she's pretty attractive, so I'm gonna give her a B because she's a pretty fun character. So, I don't know why I get asked to talk about this guy all the time, but there's a character named Matt. He has very little importance in the show. He's more of a background character than anything, and I don't know why people always ask me to talk about him, but people do. So, I'm talking about him. He exists. Not that interesting. D. It, that's it. I don't have anything else to say about Matt. That's that's it. And last and certainly not least at all, Light. So I know that there's a part of the fandom that's not a really big fan of Light. I do not care. I think he is a fantastic protagonist. He's not necessarily a good guy all the time. He's definitely got some problems going on, especially in the last chunk of the anime. But I think Light is a fairly interesting protagonist, even at his worst. Like, he never gets boring. He may get evil, but that's the thing. He's still entertaining to watch. In fact, I feel like if Light was just some boring protagonist that has nothing to say or do, the show would be lame. Nobody would want to watch it. The reason why he's so interesting is because he gets kind of demented sometimes, but he's also really, really smart. Maybe not up to the level of L, but he's still pretty brilliant in a lot of the things he does. I know that he's not perfect, and there are definitely some points in the anime, like in the last third, where he can get on my nerves a little bit. But you know what, I think Light deserves a solid S. He definitely deserves that score. He is a fantastic character. Ah, oh, I realized I didn't even use an F. Uh, you know what, Light Turner from the Death Note Netflix film, he's F. That's that's the F, he's garbage. He is, there's no understanding of what Light is in that character. And yep, that's my character ranking. I don't know how you felt about this video. I thought it was at least fun to make. Anyways, why don't you give me your rankings down in the comments below? I want to actually hear these, by the way. I want to see what everybody else thinks, especially for the weirder characters like Rem or Higuchi or BB. You know, like, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. 
And anyways, I'm going to see you guys next week, probably with a future diary video, because that seems to be the next thing up on the docket. Then we'll be covering Shiki, so we should be having a fun next couple weeks. Anyways, see you guys later.